Hey everybody, what's up? Just hold the truth hostage where if the truth was so important, we wouldn't negotiate with lies. Now, I've been doing a lot of videos, you know, daily, and I think, you know, I'm going to start doing that more, man. You know, do it daily, once a day, record something, drop it, you know what I mean? Because I got, I got like a billion thoughts, man, you know, circling my mind and all that. But um, this video, man, it's going to be very, very different, man. Because, you know, I've been pointing out a lot of negativity with the gray pill activity. And, uh, you know, the simp hunter activity. And I'm going to go deeper into that. Because, you know, you, you got to expose the... Especially, you got to expose two negatives, man. The gray pill is highly highly dangerous man and it, it is what's leading a lot of guys to the rope necklace and uh you know wrist knives you know what i mean and then you got the simp hunter thing you know what i mean and it's only gonna grow because a lot of guys do not see the, the their biggest weakness you know a lot of guys in the manosphere are just so looking for support so badly that once a female jumps in and they they deify her you know what i'm saying they they basically say look look she's she's one of those angels we've she's one of our valkyries she's a valkyrie of the manosphere she's here to understand and support us it's like i've been saying and i've been saying this for over a year the easiest way for a woman to come and take over is literally through conversation and reasoning you know through conversation and reasoning with a space full of men and and, and it kind of shows you how desperate th these men are that you're you join the male space to get away from all the feminized issues and to actually have a space for you to talk as a man you know what I'm saying? Have conversation. And as soon as a woman jumps in, you're, you're, you, you quickly come, you quickly go back into uh, your uh, simp shell. You know what I mean? Oh that's, oh, that's a good word. That simp shell right there. You know what I mean? But, you know, this video ain't about that. It ain't about the negative, man. It's about giving you some positive. You see, last year... I created something, man. I created something that I don't think exists, man. And I might be wrong, but I created something called I created something called a philosophy. A philosophy. Now, now, know what you're wondering? What is a philosophy? A philosophy is when you combine aspects of religion and aspects of philosophy. So. It's I call it a philosophy, and the philosophy I created is uh, called uh, Seeds of Sons. You know what I'm saying? Seeds of Sons, because there's a lot of men out there, man. You're you're battling multiple things that are seeking to control your mind. You're battling, of course, the feminized agenda by the government. Then you're battling. The, the religious, you know what I'm saying, the religious agenda that's coming for your mind that is anti-awareness of the state and what's going on. So a lot of men are, ba are, are basically between two things fighting for their mind, you know what I'm saying, fighting for their mind. And like I said, I made a video you need to watch called you know what I'm saying? The church has betrayed you. You know what I mean? Where the where religion is leading you to the fire. You know what I mean? Because the churches do not do not update the fact that yo know, all this you know all this uh, till death do us part and all this religious stuff does not matter in the eyes of the law. You know what I mean? And a lot of guys are in a battle, man, in a battle for their mind. You know, you're caught between the the physical war. The physical war is basically 
the government, the agenda that's fighting for your mind and body. And then you're caught between the religious agenda, which is battling for your spirit and your soul. You know what I'm saying? And and to me, you know, I've I was I did this video way back. I'll, I'll re-upload it, you know, because you know at the time it came out, it didn't it didn't go get a lot of eyes on it, you know. I re-upload it, but basically I came up with a philosophy called seeds of sons man and the reason i'm bringing this up is that i do a lot of videos that help men out from the physical perspective you know the state you know what i'm saying coming for your mind then you got you know philosophies coming for your mind such as the purple pill the you know the newly found by yourself truly the discovery the gray pill Guys, you know what I mean? So, and then you got the feminized agenda from the state coming to battle for your mind. I do a lot of those. And, you know, it helps a lot of men. You know what I mean? But those men that are battling their religious demons. Yeah, for those men that are battling their religious demons, man. That can't help them, man. That's, that's not enough. You got to understand that. We naturally, as human, as men, and as human beings, tend to go towards the group. You know what I'm saying? You find health and safety going towards the group. So now think about it. There's over 8 billion people on earth. And out of that 8 billion, there's over 5 billion that are religious. You know what I'm saying? And that's a huge amount. There are guys that have this, this black pill knowledge, that have this red pill knowledge, you know what I'm saying? But they don't have what lies outside of that, which is an answer to their spirituality, you know what I'm saying? And an answer to their spirituality that's trapped them, man. You know, and, and these guys... You know, they'll say, yo, they they revert, they've they've uh, relapsed, you know, they've gone back to the purple pill. You know what I'm saying? They've they're seeking out marriage again. They're seeking out a wife again. You know what I'm saying? They're seeking out all this. And and then you're like, man, but he has all this black pill knowledge, he's MGTOW, you know what I'm saying? He's he's uh you know I'm red pill, how is he getting married? Well, what you don't see is that they've, they're still committed to their religion. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's one big mistake we uh, don't understand is that there's a lot of guys that will absorb all this knowledge. You know what I mean? I will absorb all this knowledge, man, but then their religion will get to them, man. And they'll get married because in their religion, it tells them to start a family that it's in that's in it's in their best interest in the name of god you know what i mean and these guys are trapped on that level and you got to understand that a lot of guys are raised in a religious family you know what i'm saying since the day of their birth i mean since the day of their birth they were baptized in it you know what i'm saying they were going to church 24 7 every every weekend they were going to church you know and that that's that's something they're battling that's a routine that's engraved in them and a lot of guys will call them yo he's blue pilled he's purple pilled you know he's he's gray pilled he's an incel but you'll you know you'll ignore the the role that religion plays in it you know what i'm saying the fact that they went to a church since they were children and they've seen people married and they've seen couples in the name of God and this and that and you know they're stuck in that religious illusion we don't notice that there's a, an attack for the male mind on two sides you know on the left you have the whole physical agenda you know what I'm saying the the politics you know the philosophy then on the on the right you have the religious agenda 
you know, that they're battling, you know? You know what I mean? So there's a lot at stake battling for the male mind, you know? And a lot of guys, they'll, you know, will quickly, they'll say, oh man, he, dude, I saw him, he was, he was red-pilled for over five years, dude. How did he get married, man? You know what I'm saying? Because, dude, that religious thing that's engraved in his mind finally got to him, dude. It finally got to him. You know what I'm saying? And he fell back into that loop. You know, his religion got him. You know what I'm saying? The fact that his whole family and that peace he found in his religion consumed him. So, you know, the politi the politics didn't no longer affected him. The feminized agenda no longer affected him. But that religious agenda got to him, man. So there's a lot of guys that you'll say, oh, man, he went back to the blue pill. You know, the purple pill. He got married. He got a long-term relationship. But you won't notice that this guy's doing it for religious reasons. You know what I'm saying? And religion is all about faith. It's all about believing in something. It has nothing to do with uh, the, you know, the matrix and all that stuff. No, dude, it's it's his religion. It's engraved in him. And you got to look at religion. Religion doesn't need any physical aspects. It just needs your faith. So there's a lot of guys caught in that, you know. So what I did, and, you know, I was, what I did is uh, back in 2020, in fact, in fact, back in 2018, I got myself one of those licenses where I could marry people. You know what I'm saying? Where I could marry people. I got it. You know, I was watching Conan O'Brien. He went online and he paid this website for the, you know, the marriage license and all that. And I said, you know what? Let me get it, man. And I was about to start a church, man. I was about to start a church because, you know, I got the voice for it. I was like, you know, I could do it. It wouldn't be that hard. And then as I dive deeper and I realize, man, forget that, man. Let me, let me, let me free myself, man. Let me, can, how can I help people that are trapped in the, the battle for their mind from the religious perspective? You know, think about that. You got, you know, Christianity, Baptist Christian, you got, um, Jehovah Witness, you got Muslim, there's so many things people are engraved in that they don't even know, you know what I'm saying, and, and one big aspect of religion is that a child is scared, they, they shock you with fear, I mean, think about it, when we were little, we weren't allowed to watch rated R films, but we were allowed to read the rated R book, the Bible, which openly talks about these dudes riding on horses coming to kill everybody. You know what I'm saying? The four horsemen. You know what I'm saying? The the locust plague. You know, the sacrifice of somebody's firstborn son. You know what I'm saying? Think think of all that trauma and shock. You know what I mean? From 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 watching all this stuff. You know what I mean? Think about all the trauma and shock of being a child. And reading a book where they openly tell you about sacrificing a firstborn son. You know what I'm saying? A whole locust plague eating and killing people from the Moses era. You know what I'm saying? You know, sacrificing people. Four horsemen. You know, I remember when I was little, man, I arrived at a point And I think I was in seventh, no, I was in eighth grade. I arrived at a point and I had to ask myself... Do I believe in God and religion or do I fear God and religion? And I arrived at the point where I was like, dude, I, I fear it. I don't believe in it. I fear it because that, that's what they get you with as a child. You know what I mean? They, you know, instead of reading you a child, instead of telling you all oh, God loves you and you just got to behave, you got to be a good person. No, they insert they insert the fear, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you could go in hell, you could burn in hell. You know, there's gonna be this demon that will eat you alive and you will be sacrificed. And think about that, you're a child, man. The trauma, 
the the post-traumatic stress disorder that they put on you through religion just to get you to obey man the fear that's placed in you man from such a young age you know what i'm saying and and you realize that the majority of people that are religious are afraid they're afraid of this god you know what i'm saying they're because as a child when they were at their most well, what's the word i'm i don't have the word right now and they were at their most vulnerable there it is most vulnerable they were sold the bible man in the fear you know four horsemen with skeleton faces you know what i mean demons all this stuff that was sold to you as a child and you suffer from that trauma that post-traumatic stress you know post-traumatic stress of religion dude no one talks about that no one talks about that a child at age at age four even before that kid could read they're being told that a demon is coming to kill them and a demon will take their souls and straight up Shao Kahn and feast on their souls as little kids before they're even aware of the world. You know what I mean? So I thought about that. I thought about all this trauma, man. And then I realized, man, there has to be a solution to that. So what I did, and at the time I was deep into the MGTOW stuff, man, deep into it. And I said, man, there has to be a way to free somebody both mentally and spiritually you have to be able to combine two aspects to free them and that freedom that ideal came to me that i need to combine aspects of philosophy and religion so i created a philosophy called seeds of sons man you know what i mean and what Seeds of Sons is about is, is freeing yourself, bro. It's freeing yourself from both perspectives. You know what I mean? Because a lot of guys, they're not purple-pilled. You know what I mean? They're not even gray-pilled. It's just that religion is engraved in them. You know what I'm saying? So they, they will take actions led by their faith in that fear. That, you know, F and F, faith and fear, man. So they're going to take that action. You're going to see them get married and walk towards the slaughter and ignore all the laws because they know all the laws. But religiously, you know what I'm saying, their commitment to religion, they, they follow suit. You know, so what happened to me is, man, I thought of that. And, and then the deepest thing, the reason I, I wrote a philosophy called Seeds of Sons is that you know, after I was free, man, you know, after seventh grade, when I realized, yo, man, I, I'm not a man who believes in God. I'm more, I was fearful of it. And then, you know what I mean? I, I sat in seventh grade, I, I walked away from it. You know what I mean? I didn't talk to my family about it. You know, I just said, yo, man, I'm, I'll be agnostic. You know what I mean? If I see it, I see it. And to me, a lot of people have weaponized religion anyway they've weaponized it for a reason and you could see throughout history where they've weaponized it to use it to kill and murder you know what i'm saying because think about it let's say you're an atheist let's say you're agnostic or you know let's say you just believe you don't believe you're a dimensionist you believe in other dimensions or universes and all that you know what i mean so why would someone say if 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 god knows all god knows all right that's what they always say god knows all if god knows all wouldn't god know that you wouldn't believe in god that it would take something more for you to believe for you to find faith you know what i'm saying that, that's where i say a lot of people that quote unquote talk about their religious they're really hypocrites, man. They don't really, they're not really religious. They just need something above reason to attack and harm other people. Because for someone to say, hey man, you don't believe in God, you're going to hell. When your actions, you're, you're kind, you're gentle, you're respectful to everyone else and you're going to hell when everything you do is that of someone of faith. You know what I'm saying? 
but because you don't believe in God, you're going to hell. You know what I mean? Because they've, they've weaponized it, man. They're not really religious. So you don't believe in God, you're going to hell when you follow every moral aspect and commandment. You know what I'm saying? And, and if God knows all, you know what I'm saying? God knows all, then God would know why you don't believe. And here's the thing. If God created us, you know what I'm saying? So you're telling me God would think that these cavemen would need a religion first than to eat and find food. You know what I'm saying? That we would be praying above food and shelter. Come on, dude. Uh, if God knows all, then God knows why you're agnostic, why you don't believe, while you're whatever you are, whatever your reasons for not believing are. And you know, when you die and it's, let's say you die and you go meet this God, you would see this God and be, oh, just like that M&M's commercial. Oh, you, it, it does exist. Oh, you do exist. Oh, and you know, and this God will be like, yeah, dude, I do. I, yes, my son, I, and I do, let me put the Morgan Freeman, and I do exist, my son, I am God. And as the penguins marched into heaven, the snow caps started to stop melting, cease to melt, and re frozen eyes and bring back the ice caps as the penguins march. Yeah, whenever I do a Morgan Freeman, I always go back to the March of the Penguins. But yeah, dude, if you died, you would see God and God will be, yeah, what's up? What's good? Yeah, man. Yeah, I do exist. And you would have, like I said, you got to look at that Eminem's Christmas commercial where Santa Claus sees the Eminem's and they're like, oh, you really, you really do exist. And you would be like that. But a lot of these people weaponize religion, man. So what I did, and I, I came to the realization that, dude, I, I'm not a religious person. You know what I mean? In all honesty, I've even come to find out that majority of people that are religious are really of the highest level of um, narcissism. You know what I'm saying? It's a high level. It's an extreme level of narcissism because you believe that an all-seeing God, an all-seeing, all-powerful God, or even if you believed in the, the Greek I, the Greek aspect because I was talking to one of my homies and to me the Greeks I, I plan to make a video on religion man and you know why the Greek gods and all that why they had to destroy them why they had to destroy the the you know other religions for the whole one God thing because the other religions had too much individuality you know what I'm saying but uh the thing is this man I realized I was like man I don't, you know, I realize that, dude, I don't, but, and, you know, here's my, let me go back quick, you know, and the reason it's narcissism is that you, a human being, believe that an all-powerful, all-seeing being is worried about you, you know what I'm saying, is worried about you and what you're doing, you know what I'm saying, when we step on an ant, are we worried about, oh, the other ants won't believe in us, they're, they've lost faith, dude. An all-powerful God that could be anywhere is worried about your prayer. You're putting yourself too high, man. You're placing yourself too high. You're too narcissistic. That's why a lot of people, when they tend to be religious, you see a high level of violence and stuff like that, man. You know what I mean? Because their narcissism places them as, dude, we're the children of God. We're... We're greater than all people. That narcissism. Dude, why would a God care about you when it could be anywhere and do anything? Come on, man. You know what I mean? But what happened to me is this, man. At that moment where I was like, uh, yo, I don't believe in God. But I do believe in the dude that wrote the Bible. And I was like, man, a man wrote the Bible and literally influenced me everybody you know what i'm saying and then i was like man if he could do it why can't i do it you know i'm a man you know what i mean i got enough logic and stuff why can't i write something similar to a bible you know 
can I write something? So I was going to write my own religion. And I actually was doing it. You know what I mean? I was deep into it. I was going to do it. And then I realized, nah, man. Writing a religion, it's too... It's too... Uh, well, what's the word? It's too linear. You know, it's too li linear and too trapped in things. You know, so I was like, man, I got to figure something out. And then I came up with a philosophy where I combine religion and philosophy, you know? So now what is seeds of sons, man? What is, what is this philosophy I was talking about seeds of sons? Well, seeds of sons is about the truth, man. It's about you accepting the truth and living your life based on that with, with certain aspects that have to do with religion you know certain things such as you know if you die you will return to the earth man you will be maybe soil you know what i mean you technically will be reborn you know what i'm saying because your body will be used as fertilizer for the plants and all that stuff and to continue life you know what i'm saying so what happened is i wrote that and then and here's why, you know what I'm saying? Because think about what they sell you with religion. Think about it. For example, they say when you die, you're going to go to heaven where all your family and friends are. But dude, all your friends and family are here right now. So you're going to ignore the friends and family you have right now to die so you could spend time with them come on man it's it's a trap to have you ignore those that are alive and living with you you know what i'm saying so you're gonna tell me i'm gonna wait to die to go be with my friends and family when my friends and family are here right now you know what i'm saying then the other thing they tell you well you know when you die, you're going to go to heaven and there's going to be all the food. There's going to be a great bounty. There's going to be all this and that. But, but dude, there's food and a bounty right here, right now. You know what I'm saying? So you're telling me to ignore the fact that I already got food and a bounty right now to wait till I die to to go get in it, an experience that I've already experienced and can experience. Then the other one is, what is this? You know what I'm saying? You're gonna, when you die, you're gonna experience peace and, and all this stuff. But dude, if you're spending, but there's peace and freedom right amongst your friends and family right now. You know, a lot of the experiences they sell have references to what you could already experience while you're alive. But the goal is to have you ignore what you can already experience while you're alive. You know what I'm saying? Well, what's the other one? The other one is, um, give me a minute. Yeah, the other one is, oh, this, this is the greatest one is, you know, the one where they basically traumatized you as a child is that, oh, when you die, you're, gonna go to this section where they you're gonna burn and feel the all this pain and suffering so you're basically telling me that i'm gonna experience something i could already experience while i'm alive for example what if someone kidnapped you and every day they would torture you you know they wouldn't torture you enough to kill you they just they'd stab you allow the wound to heal then stab you again you know what i'm saying so you can't ex so you're telling me I can't experience pain while I'm alive already. You know what I'm saying? If you when you think of a lot of this stuff, the rewards and all that stuff when it comes to religion, you notice it's not a new experience. A lot of these experiences are coming and being based off of what you could experience while you're alive. And the reason for that is this it's easier to manipulate you with something you're familiar with. You know what I'm saying? You're going to die and you're going to... And, and here's the thing about hell, man. Hell came way after the Bible was written. It was, it was put in there as a way to manipulate and put fear, put fear into people, man. You know what I'm saying? 
and the fact that so many experiences that have to do with heaven you already could experience them on earth while you're alive it, it tells you already that it's really us you know they're scamming you and referencing a lot of things you can experience while you're alive so you can visualize and place yourself in a put you know situation where you can feel and think about it you know what i'm saying you can imagine the most pain so you're like damn i'm gonna feel all this pain when i die and, and here's the thing about this you're gonna die and exit your physical being you're gonna exit your body you know what i'm saying if you're a spirit you're no longer bound by anything of the physical form how are you gonna feel pain you know what I'm saying? How you gonna feel pain when you, you're a spirit now? Yeah, they're gonna add up, well, you could feel spiritual pain and all that. But all the references, man, come from your physical being. Because they're using what you know and feel to manipulate you and have you loyal to this afterlife they're promising you. You know what I'm saying? That is completely based on what you've been through already because they don't want you to actually think well man if i'm outside of my body and i'm now a spirit they don't want you to think or have individual thought that oh man if i'm a spirit the experience is going to be something i could never experience in when i was alive because that would free your mind that would have you not as concerned or fearful of death you know what I'm saying? That would actually allow you to live. Yo, I've lived. I've accepted my time. It is what it is. I'm ready to go. They don't want that. You know what I'm saying? They want to trap you with this religion and keep you manipulated so they utilize all emotions you've already known to control you. You know what I'm saying? And that's why a lot of guys, and you got to think of all the attacks on the mind I mentioned. You're being attacked by agenda. You know what I'm saying? The government agenda. You're being attacked by, you know what I'm saying? Religion agenda. You know what I'm saying? You're being attacked on all fronts. You as a man, you're in the middle of two attacks. Uh, you know what I mean? You're in, you're in the middle of two things attacking you as a man. Your mind. It's the physical agenda and the spiritual agenda. And you know what I mean? A lot of the stuff from the, you know, the great, you know, from the red pill to the black pill, it deals with the physical, you know what I'm saying? Even the eventual gold pill I will be explaining, it deals with the physical. So the spirituality aspect, you know what I'm saying, can is still open for attack, you know what I mean? And that's why they, they that's why so many men, even with all this knowledge, still get consumed still end up at the at the the family court slaughterhouse because you know what i'm saying it's in god's will that you marry till death do you part you know all this religious jargon that's pushed on you and you know what i'm saying that's why i came up with a philosophy man or you because here's the thing and you could visit the website i'm gonna I'm a link it on the description you could visit it you could read it you know what I mean? I've put a lot of thought into it. I've referenced some aspects of religion. You know what I mean? I'm still editing it. It's still growing. You know what I mean? I'm still building it. You know, you could contact me. You know what I mean? C comment if you got any ideas. You know what I mean? And we could, uh, you know, edit it and alter it. You know, add some new stuff to it. You know, it's still in the works. I had the I had, I have the website and everything, you know what I mean? But uh basically man, I created this to give you balance, man. Because you're being attacked on all fronts, man. You're being attacked on your spirit and your physical being. Your physical being is anything that's attached to this world. You know what I'm saying? All the agenda that comes with it, you know. The feminism, the feminized ideals, all those are physical, man. Then the spiritual aspect is things that don't require the physical aspect to control you. 
which is your spirit, where you're gonna go after you die and all this and that. So what happened to me, I created Seeds of Sons. Probably, you know, it's a philosophy, man. Combine religion and philosophy, you get a philosophy. You know what I'm saying? And to me, what what I've centered it around is, is you focusing on your life, man. Focusing on your existence and and what it means. Cause dude, why why die? Why wait till you die to ignore that dude? We're already in paradise, bro. We're the only animals on this earth that will literally go against our environment. You know what I'm saying? We'll say, oh, it's not good enough. It's not good enough for us so we could destroy that. That's that's one purpose of religion is the whole purpose. The reason the earth will never fully heal or will never be fully valued is that we heaven was created. And the thing about heaven, what's funny about it, heaven is literally the description of the environment we're already in, earth. You know what I mean? And heaven is being used to ignore and basically allow us to destroy the earth and damage it because, hey, it's not better than heaven. Ooh, what matters if what matters if the whole world has plastic and is toxic, polluted? It don't matter, man. Heaven awaits you. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be clear grass, fresh air in heaven. You know what I mean? Extinct animals, all the animals going to be in heaven. So who cares if the rhinos go extinct? Who cares if these animals go extinct? In heaven, they'll all be there. You know what I'm saying? It's the ultimate tool to justify physical destruction. You know what I mean? So I created a seeds of sons you know what I mean to, to to heal you and have you come to a balance that steps away from the religious manipulation yet it's infused with the physical philosophy you know what I'm saying so you can have a balance so if you're accepting the black pill knowledge uh, your MGTOW and all that stuff it's easier for you to digest man you know what I'm saying? Because it's a balance. It's a balance between philosophy and aspects of religion. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of it is having you not ignore your existence. You know what I mean? Because a lot of religion is about you ignoring your existence. Because, you know, a lot of religion is about you ignoring your existence and awaiting everything to be better when you pass when literally do the you know you could taste the best food in the world you don't gotta wait till you go to this mythical land called heaven for you to enjoy your life you know what i'm saying yes some family members have passed but does that mean the ones that pass since you know since some have passed the ones that are still here don't matter you know what i mean they're still your family and they're still all the family you have because they're all the ones you have. So, you know, there's a large attack on the mind of a man. You know what I mean? A mind and then there's the attack on his spirit. So, you know, I created Seeds of Sons. You could check out the website, man. You know, it has a lot more information. I plan to create a downloadable PDF. You know, and I plan to eventually touch up on it a lot more because, you know, we need that relief, man. We need that relief. You know what I'm saying? You have your, if you have the black pill knowledge, you have the MGTOW knowledge, you have lot, you're more logical. You know what I'm saying? You absolutely value logic and reasoning. That's one aspect. You know what I'm saying? It's like we're two-faced, you know, when it comes to being a man, you're two-faced. You have the logical and reasoning, everything bound to the, re, you know, to the reality. Well, not reality, because reality can be altered, but to the truth of the world. Then you have the spiritual aspect, you know. So you have to find a balance that exists between those, so... I was like, dude, let me create this philosophy, man. And you know, 
it's gonna be more information i plan to do more videos on it plan to do more videos on the philosophy seeds of sons and you know it's to encourage you man nothing if you don't believe in the bible at least believe in the man who wrote the bible because he did he wrote it and influenced a lot of people you know what i'm saying some good some bad whatever you know what i mean and i'm like dude I could do that too, man. So I was like, I mixed it, religion and, um, you know, philosophy. And I came to the point of Seeds of Sons. I'm still editing it, still adding to it. So we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. A, uh, you know, this has been Hold the Truth Hostage, where if the truth was so important, wouldn't negotiate with lies. Peace.